Welcome to another episode of Community Questions. In this episode, I'll be talking about the differences between timestamp and timestamp TZ, time zone. This question arose from someone who was simply asking, what's the difference? I've checked the documentation. I can see that timestamp TZ is usually recommended above timestamp, but why is that? Why should I be using TZ and not timestamp? In this episode, we'll investigate why that is and why you might want to consider timestamp TZ over timestamp. First, I'll create a database table. This is an episode schedule for a TV guide contrived as per the name of the show, the name of the episode, the time it's next showing as a timestamp. Timestamp is always UTC and next showing TZ, which is a timestamp TZ. Both of them are truncated to seconds. I don't need anything beyond that in terms of precision. I'll create that table and I'll insert some data into it. These are South Park episodes, the show, the episode, the UTC timestamp and the same timestamp, but against the TZ column. Now I'll do a select. As expected, the values are identical next showing 11 o'clock for both. And that's not surprising because the time zone I'm using is UTC. I would expect to see that whenever I'm selecting data out and my context is UTC, I would see the same data. Now let's see what happens if I set the time zone to something else. Now CockroachDB will apply the New York time zone to my queries. So let's run the same query again, but this time TZ now shows the times with an offset. So the offset from the given timestamp, which is New York, to UTC. Someone in the UK would be watching this South Park episode at 11 o'clock, while someone on the East Coast would be watching it at 6 o'clock. Now, rather than setting the time zone before every query, you can also pass at time zone or use the time zone function. And it's exactly the same. So we can ask for CockroachDB to return the TZ column in any time zone we like. The time zone isn't stored in the database and the documentation makes that clear, but it does allow you to convert from it as an offset. Let's find out what time those episodes are on in Tokyo. The same episodes are airing the next morning at 8, 7 and 7.30. If you're wondering what time zones are available, they're actually just from the Go standard library and they can be seen from a call to PG time zone names. Every single time zone that's available, including its offset, is available from this query. At this point, you might be thinking that's all very well and good, but I have, let's say, three instances of the service running in the US, the EU and Tokyo. But these might not correspond to the time zones where my users are. I don't want to have to create a database connection that services each of these time zones. And you don't have to. With this code example, I create a basic Go API that wraps a database connection, exposes an episode's endpoint into which I allow a time zone header to be passed. And when you pass the time zone header, that gets applied to the query as a query argument at time zone and the location. So if I make a curl request to that endpoint, passing America, New York as my time zone, I see the values as I would expect to see them from a US user. If I change the time zone to be Tokyo, I see the values for the next day as a user in Tokyo would. So to summarize, the timestamp TZ data type is more flexible than the timestamp data type as it allows you to provide time zone offsets that render different outputs depending on the time zone of your users.